was out riding today on some dusty roads and rails to trails. I was going to wipe down the bike, since it's a little too cold to wash it down, and do a quick two-minute drivetrain cleanup, which we'll link at the end. But also notice when I spun the front wheel, I heard a constant rubbing. Let's have a listen. This was not an issue with the caliper being off-center. We can see a space on either side of the rotor, so something else is going on. I really don't see any grease or dirt on the rotor, but there must be some dust or something else accumulated as I was riding across that rail to trail. So I'll give it a quick clean with some isopropyl alcohol, microfiber cloth. P.S. I always wear gloves when dealing with the rotor or brake pads so as not to get grease from my hands on the rotor or brake pads, which will decrease brake performance. So we'll put a little alcohol on our cloth. And we'll wipe down the rotor. Well, that got off a considerable amount of dirt and grime, as we can see. Spin the wheel. Sounds great. Job done. If there's still some rubbing noise, and again that the brake caliper is centered, you can remove the wheel, clean the rotor itself and pads without removing them. We'll show you how to do that. Okay, we'll wipe down the rotor with a little more rubbing alcohol a little more vigorously. To get at the pads, we'll take an edge of my microfiber cloth. We'll put some alcohol on either side. And this just may fit between the brake pads. Let's give it a try. There we go. We'll run it back and forth. Mm, yeah. Let's take a clean part of the cloth. All right, let's reinstall the wheel and see how we've done. If you've been riding in dry but dusty conditions, or maybe just a little bit damp, where you might pick up with just a little bit of road grime, this method seems to work fairly well without having to pull out the brake pads and pull out the sandpaper, etc. If this doesn't work, well, maybe it is time to pull out the rubbing alcohol, sandpaper, pull the brake pads, take off the wheel, and we link to that cleaning process here at the end of the video. If you have any other ideas on this or have tried this, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.